This is the Conqueror GC. This is a British Tier 10 SPG. The map is Erlenberg. Uh, I am going to get 1,500 damage in this game. However, this should be an exciting game. Uh, we are probably going to come back from uh, losing. Uh, we'll have to see how it pans out, but I believe what's going to happen is that we're going to be we're going to be down, and we're going to come back and pull through a win. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, so I decided to come here because I wanted to see if I could line up shots in the middle of the map, uh, basically through here. Like for example, if you have a Waffentrager or a Scorpion G, you can sit over here and you can snipe through the middle here on the bridge. And usually tanks just sit here and show their side armor. Oh, come on. Will you spot something? All the Anakums are out today. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to see. Looks like a Type 5 Heavy. 149 damage. It's an SPG is overpowered. So I guess it's going to be a relatively slow game. One issue about SPG is that you, the games last a long time. Uh, so you could easily be in 15-minute games. Number two, a lot of games will end in draws. Uh, number three, I don't have a high survival rate with SPG. It's only like 44%. And you'd think when you account for all your victories you'd have like at least a 50%, 60% survival rate in SPG, but I don't. So I decided to take a shot at the, uh, I believe it was a Jagdpanzer E100, which is an amazing tank. There's a reason why people get great games with that thing. I just got one a couple days ago. It is totally awesome, as is the E100 heavy tank, but not as is the E100 SPG. The E100 SPG is really not that great. So it looks like I missed the, uh, the Jagdpanzer E100. Very tense. Nice. Let's nail them. Come on. We got him. Look at that. 54 damage. I'm racking up the damage. Okay, we'll advance. Go another. Go for another shot on Davey SBMD. Maybe he's from Stony Brook and he's a medical doctor. Or maybe he's just a son of a bitch MD. Going after Kavik 2017. Okay, so I decided to climb up the hill. I'm not sure the reason why. Uh, maybe it's because I want to raise my gun arc. Uh, if you play SPGs, you're, you're going to know that uh, British SPGs do have a higher gun arc in general. Maybe not for every tank. Okay, Davey, son of a bitch MD. In the water. Oh, he just took a hit for 301. And I got an amazing 14 stun damage, which is why we play SPG. Because as you know, we'd rather get the 14 stun damage. Oh, a tree just fell over here. Thank you for nerfing it, Wargaming. Uh, I got an um, uh, two damage on the object, 705. Okay, awesome Parker 911. Let's see if we can take him out with one shot. Look how long it takes for that shot to get out there. 410 damage. This vehicle, the, the Conqueror GC, has the highest penetration of SPGs in Tier 10, which is 59. And I do a lot of one-shotting. I get a lot of games where I do 1,000 damage against a lightly armored tank. And I don't get that with other tanks. So you want to do a lot of damage. I would say go with the Con Conqueror GC and don't do it if you think there's going to be a lot of heavy tanks in the game. Uh, this particular game does not have a lot of heavy tanks. 
132 on the Ag Panzer E100, I'm up to 1,048 damage. Oh, that sucks. Wow, I guess there ain't going to be no comeback. Score is 7 to 7. Did I mislabel this? It says I did 1,200 damage. It must have been another couple hundred damage. We're going to fast forward and see what happens. Score is 8 to 7. If you want to read what it says here in the chat, it says... Well, you can go back and pause it. It says, oh, shoot, are you the cheap books that does World of Tanks news? Yes, man, I appreciate appreciate your video. So that was the Bezali, the, the Bez, Bezalil. You know what I'm going to do? Screenshot that. Uh, I better do it again. So it's nice when someone says something nice, which we know never happens. Okay, scores 8 to 8. So uh, that player was playing in the T30. We go way back. So there's six minutes left. I'm advising my team to stay together, not to spread out. You see this guy? He's uh, doing a good job driving around the battlefield. I love this tank, the AMX-30. It's fun to play, and it explodes really easily. This vehicle is the Bat Chat 25 TAP. I absolutely loved playing this vehicle. Scores 12 to 11. This is not a comeback game. Come on. Four minutes left. So I love this more than the Bat Chat. I do not like the Bat Chat. I am advising my ally in the chat, run from the E100 because he's slow. Just, just don't fight him. You know, just run away. But he did take him out of the game, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm advising my team that the STRV is on full health and that someone is in the southeast because uh, he had uh, taken out one of my allies, I believe, uh, before he was spotted down there. Scores 16 to 12. Look at how fast that vehicle moves. It's going 65 kilometers. This is a vehicle I would love to play again. It was many years ago. 13 to 12 going for the cap strategy. And the enemy base was captured. And we got a victory. So I guess it wasn't quite a comeback game. Uh, sorry about that mistake. Um, but it was a game, and it was really boring. But I have amazing commentary. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to me on Twitch, where you can see me play the games before they show up on YouTube, and subscribe to all of my YouTube channels. i got a light tank channel. I've got a uh, SPG channel. i got a tank destroyer channel. I've got all sorts of channels for World of Tanks, so that if you want to watch games every day, you can watch whatever class of tank.